Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I'm going to install and review the Scroll NATO. The Scroll NATO that I received fits the DW788 DeWalt scroll saw. So let's get started. Before installing this piece, make sure you unplug the saw and make sure there's no power to the saw. In, a, in order to install this upgrade dust collecting system, I have to remove the table to the saw itself. It's pretty easy to move the table. There's two screws on the bottom that uses a, I believe it's a five millimeter Allen. Remove those two screws and the table removes from the saw. Now the first step in this installation product, uh, there's a set of tubes that's already pre-assembled and it has this T-fitting and the small side of that T-fitting goes right into the hole right underneath the mounting bracket for the back of the saw. The second tube goes underneath the table that rests right on the top of the bottom arm. This tube has a small slit right in the middle of the tube and that small slit you can slide the scroll saw blade through and it collects the dust on the bottom side. Next you want to get the C-channel that holds this tube into place just note that there's other instructions if you do a lot of angle cuts and I believe the instruction says uh, anything above 30 degrees there's a different set of instructions to follow. The next thing to do is uh, there's a magnetic C channel that goes onto the side of the arm and it's set at an angle. The higher part of the angle goes towards the back of the saw and then the tube just snaps right into place. One section of the T that I just installed will hook to this piece and this piece will actually collect the dust from the top side of the table. Now it's time to put the table back on. Slide the table back into the pin that's in the back of the saw. Reinstall the two screws and of course reinstall your blade. Now once you got the top and bottom part of the blade put your tension on and then since you remove the table you want to square up your blade to your table again. Now what I didn't show you is the, the third part of the T it hooks up to the shop vac. I don't have a normal shop vac so I use this what's called a bucket head. Now the whole principle of this setup is to collect the dust coming from your scroll saw. I don't do a whole lot of scroll sawing, but what scroll sawing we do is on exotic woods. So I was particularly interested in this project because I didn't want the exotic woods to go into my lungs. So here's a piece of red heart and I chose red heart to demonstrate this because the chips are red. So we could see how much it's actually collecting versus how much it's not collecting. And once I get through a few cuts here, I'll show you how much is left on the top of the saw and how much is left in the bottom of the saw. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you a picture of the filter from the shop vac. Okay, let's start with the installation on this project. The installation on this project was very straightforward. The instructions was very clear and I had no problems installing this thing. The only thing about the instructions that I didn't like was that I had to remove the tabletop of the scroll saw itself. But that wasn't a big deal. Uh, I just had to reinstall it and square it back up and I was good to go. The performance of the project I was actually pretty shocked. Uh, very, very little red dust left on the top and the bottom of the scroll saw. Um, I didn't use the air tool that's equipped with the scroll saw at all. I just uh, used straight shot back, and the shot back that I'm using is uh, is it's called a bucket head. You buy it at Home Depot. Uh, it's just basically a motor that attaches to a five gallon bucket. So it's not the best quality shop vac that you could buy for this uh, application anyway. But uh, even with the shop vac, uh, poor quality shop vac and a high quality 
addition to the 788, it worked exceptionally well. So I'm very pleased with it. I'm very happy that I have it on the scroll saw. Especially cutting those exotic woods. You're not breathing in that fine dust that uh, normally gets blown around with the uh, the puffer tool on the tool. So I don't know what that thing's called. Air tool or puffer tool? I don't know what it's called. So as far as the project, two thumbs up for sure. Uh, definitely recommend this. You could pick up the scroll NATO at Amazon.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you can pick your own up. Now this particular kit fits a DeWalt 7788 and I think it fits a Delta Salt if I'm not mistaken. But I'll put the link in the description below and you can check that out for yourself. Once again, this is Mike from In My Foot Shop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.